Hey everyone, today I have five thrift store makeovers. These vintage spring decor ideas turned out so beautiful. I think you're really going to enjoy them. And by the way, if you're new here, I'm Tanya. Welcome to my channel. And I do hope you all like, share, and subscribe. We're gonna go ahead and start out with this vase that I picked up at Goodwill. And I think I paid like $3. Now everyone, all of the images that I found were on the graphicfairy.com and I do pay for the premium membership through the graphic fairy. I think it's like less than $10 a month and it's a really great deal and I love the images. Now I'm going to be using that crockery color paint on here and I love this paint. It covers really well. And this is one of the DIY paints and it's Debbie's Design Diary DIY paint. So I just love it. These paints are so wonderful. So I would definitely check them out. I'll try to leave a link in the description box for you. Now, the first one that I'm gonna be doing is this um, Lily of the Valley is what I think these are. And I put that crockery paint on there. I used a couple coats and then I'm just gonna take the sandpaper and bring out a little bit of that gray that was under there. And everyone, this turned out to be one of my favorite little vases. And I thought this had that really nice little vintage look. And all of them today have that theme of the vintage kind of style. So I really hope that you enjoy them. Now that I've got the front of the vase covered with the Mod Podge, I'm just going to gently put this little napkin on here. And everyone, yes, it is a napkin. I printed these designs on some napkins and I did that through the whole thing. So if you would like to see how I actually did that with my printer, drop that in the comments below and I'll make a video of that. And someone had mentioned to me to try that saran wrap. Thank you, whoever you were, I cannot remember. But yes, that was a game changer for me. So I've really enjoyed that, it made it a lot simpler. But everyone, look how beautiful this turned out. All I did was pop some little short greenery in the top because I thought this image was just so beautiful and what a really nice little decor piece for spring. Now for our next one, I picked up this little picture. It was actually at Goodwill and I think I've seen this at Hobby Lobby, but someone got rid of it. So I picked it up, I think for like $4. And you notice that I am cutting out my images instead of doing that wet technique around the edges. And I just seem to have really good luck just kind of cutting these out. And sometimes I'll wiggle my scissors to make it a little bit curvy around the edges. But this was so fun. I love this one. I think that it just turned out so beautiful. And I love how it was just the little birds in the middle by itself. And I'm using that crockery color again by the DIY paint. And I was really surprised how well this covered. I put two coats on there and it covered up every bit of the wording that was on there. Now I will be taking some truffle paint and um, going over the wood part. And I really was just trying to pull in that brown color that I seen in the birds. Like if you notice when I put the birds on here, even the breast area of the birds had a little bit of that brown running through there. And I always like to reach in there and pull out all these little colors. But everyone, this one turned out so pretty. So I really am enjoying these today. So I hope you stick with me to the end. And if you can find one of those little bird emojis, you can pop that in the comments below because a lot of these have the little birds or a little flower even. But now that I've got the uh, truffle paint on there and uh, our crockery paint. I'm just going to go ahead and put a, quite a bit of Mod Podge on here. And I like to use the matte Mod Podge. I really think that works well. And I think what I like most about the matte is that it doesn't leave any kind of sheen or glare on top of it. But everyone, let's put our little birds right there in the center. And these little birds could not have been cuter. And like I said, I'll leave the link uh, in the description box to the graphic fairy and you know I am not gonna do anything else I thought about adding a little something else to this 
but once I got these on here and I got it hung up on the wall, it was just adorable. And I love the simplicity of this one. And I just thought it was a really sweet little vintage style design to hang up for spring. Now I am gonna go ahead and add some more of that Matte Mod Podge, of course, on top of here and just seal everything in. And even though this is a matte, I think it really does kind of highlight the colors once it dries and kind of seals everything in. But everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful week. Um, I'm gonna be doing the DIYs on Saturday. And of course, I'll always try to do these thrift store makeovers and upcycles on Thursday for you. Now I'm taking the DIY paint and this is the, the, sorry, this is the DIY wax. And I just wanted to rub that black all over there to really make it rich. But everyone, look how beautiful this one turned out. I think it made an adorable wall piece for the spring season. Now for our next DIY, I'm gonna be taking this little wooden planner that I found at Goodwill. And um, here's another one of those beautiful uh, little prints. And like I said, I printed these out on napkins. While I'm putting this one on, I can kind of tell you how I did it. And like I said, if you'd like to see that, you can leave it in the comments below. But what I do is I just take one of the clear parts of the napkin. I used or napkins from Dollar Tree, actually. And um, I just tape that onto just a sheet of regular typing paper and then put it in the printer with the napkin side up. And I use painter's tape. I really like to work with that to tape everything down. And it works great. And then you've got this beautiful image on your napkin and which I'm sure a lot of you have done something like that before, but I haven't done the technique that I did with these designs. So I was really happy with how it turned out. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and just put my little flowers right there on this one side. Everyone, I love that crockery color paint on this with these beautiful off-white little flowers. I don't know what those flowers are. If anybody knows what those flowers are, you'll have to drop that in the comments below. Now I always like to take these and leave a little bit. You notice that I have it kind of folded over going over the top there and even a little bit on the bottom. I just think that's a neat look and it kind of finishes it off. And I did end up painting the inside of this one. But everyone, I popped some greenery in here and this could not have been cuter. I absolutely love how this turned out. And everyone, I hope you're enjoying these and I hope you're still with me. I've got a couple more here and the next one coming up is this little vintage looking picture frame and I cleaned everything up really well and I printed this off with these it's hard to see it right now but it's a little mama bird feeding her baby and I thought this could not have been cuter that's why I thought these were wonderful for the vintage style they just had that look to it and I think it's such a pretty look anyway to bring back those kind of uh, photos and that style is just really comforting to me. Now, once again, I'm using that crockery and I just took the cardboard that was in the picture and just painted that. And I'm just gonna actually place my little um, napkin with the print on it right on top of here. And I thought about using a little board, but the cardboard was thick and once I got it in the picture frame, everyone, it looked great. Now you can see, I'm just gonna pop the little bird feeding her baby right there in the middle and smooth everything down. And I did the same thing on this. I pulled out some of the colors that were actually in this print and I'm gonna go with some of that brown and the truffle paint and then some more of the black just to kind of detail it. I really wanted to just kind of age up the frame a little bit. The frame was really pretty by itself, but I just wanted to pull in a little bit more of those colors and give it a little bit more age look. But everyone, drop in the comments below and let me know if you're enjoying me doing the 
recycled and thrift store makeovers and everything on Thursday. Uh, it's something I'm really enjoying and I have quite a few more items to share with you. And I will be doing, I'm thinking I'm gonna be doing the Dollar Tree DIYs on Saturday. So I hope you can come back for that and uh, I knew it'd be the Easter weekend but I'll be uploading around 7 p.m. on Saturday. Now you can see what I did there. I rubbed that all over and then I just took a baby wipe and wiped off in the center. And that still left a little bit of that truffle color just in the creases. Now I'm taking that black wax and just kind of going all around. And I really like how that just really added that little age look and kind of give the borders of this little picture frame a really neat look. I had to clean my glass. I had gotten paint all over it when I touched it. Now I'm gonna go ahead, pop my glass in and pop my little cardboard in there with our print on it. And you'll see me here in a moment. I go ahead and just take some of that black Indian ink paint and rub on there and got rid of that little signature because I recreated this and made it my own. Well, everyone here, this one is setting up displayed for you. And I think this couldn't be cuter. What a sweet little vintage spring piece that I think would look nice anywhere in your home. Now for our last DIY, I had this tin, I think it's like tin silver. I don't know what this, I don't think it's actually silver, but I had already rubbed some of that patina color. I think it was uh, pennies from heaven from the DIY paint. And I rubbed that all over there cause I wanted to pull out just a little bit of this gold color to uh, try to pull that color out that you see there in the birds. Those birds look like Orioles to me. And uh, I don't know if that's what they are, if they're Robins. I guess in a way they look more like robins. But anyway, I thought they were a really pretty design and I was actually gonna use this not as a tray, but use it as just like a leaner up that I could put up against the wall or on a shelf and just have it standing up. And I did the same thing. I just added the birds right to the center here. Just patted them down once again with that wonderful saran wrap. <laughs> really works great. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I am really gonna age this one a lot. And I got a little tip for you that works great when you're really aging these a lot. All of the white that you see around the bird, I take that black wax and dab over top of that paper and it really makes that paper kind of look like it's sinking in where you can't see it and because I was going for a very aged vintage look on this design this worked wonderful on this one now if I wasn't going to do that I probably would have tried to wet around the edges some but this worked wonderful I think I actually did use a little water to kind of get this little kind of ragged look but that's how I wanted this one to look and I just kept aging this. You'll see me in a moment. I'll really start adding the black wax around all of the little raised up places, embellishments on the tray there. And once I got it done, it really looked like an old, old tray and it was just beautiful. But everyone, I hope you're still with me. And if you are, don't forget to maybe pop one of those little bird emojis in the comments. Or if you can't find the bird, maybe a little flower. Let me know that you're still here. And let me know if you are enjoying this type of content and me doing a lot of these thrift store makeovers and upcycled items. Well, everyone, I'm about done. And here it is displayed up on the wall after all the colors dried and settled and I think it turned out beautiful. Let me know what you think. Well, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed rest of the week. And if you did enjoy this, I do hope that you all like, share, and subscribe. And thank you to everyone that has been subscribing to my channel. I will see you soon.